I think more often than not, like video lessons, one to one lessons, group lessons, or everything, like modes tend to be taught in a very sophisticated, sciencey, like mathematical way with like loads of jargon in there. And this kind of makes the whole topic seem a lot more complicated than it actually is. And I'm going to try and cut that all out and just make this whole thing as jargon free and understandable as possible. First of all, I think that, I don't know if this is a personal thing, but I would say that about 90% of the work that you do in the way of understanding modes is training your ear, listening, like setting each mode apart, like what defines this mode, what am I listening to, like what kind of like cultural vibes does it have, like what notes are being targeted, like how's it hitting the ear, like what flavours does it have. And if you keep like listening and listening and listening, you will kind of notice like common denominators in each mode. And if you hear a song in a particular mode, you might just think, hey, I notice that that is Dorian or that's Lydian or that's Phrygian, just by ear. So it's all about training your ear as much as you can. So I'm going to play a riff and solo to it using a few different modes. I'm not going to do all of them, but I'm going to do a few of them. And I'm going to talk through sort of how each one of them stands out, like what connotations each one has, what kind of vibe each one has, and what flavors and vibes are associated with each of these modes. So... This is just regular minor, G minor pentatonic. Just a typical rocky, like, <clears throat> not brutal, but it's got that heavy edge to it. Uh, to solo in Mixolydian, I'd be playing something like... You can immediately tell the difference between the Mixolydian and the regular minor pentatonic. Mixolydian has a kind of tongue-in-cheek country vibe to it. It's got a bit of a... you might associate it with like Sweet Home, Alabama, King of the Hill, stuff like that. natural G minor pentatonic Mixolydian Phrygian is your natural minor turned eastern if you will. It's used a hell of a lot in traditional Eastern music. It's used a hell of a lot in Spanish flamenco, uh, classical, more often than not, metal. More often than not, uh, Phrygian mode will be used in a good heavy metal solo. So, and 
So I'm not going to get too technical with it. I promise I wouldn't, but here's what it might sound to that riff. Phrygian. To get the Dorian, the Dorian sound, Dorian effect, uh, in a nutshell, you might just play the major scale a tone lower than what key you're in. So, in this case, we're in G. If I played the major scale in F, which is a tone lower, I would get something that sounds Dorian. So perfect example of a piece of music that is played in Dorian mode is so, so uh, those modes we've just been through I'm gonna play them all in one solo just for the sake of getting to know them and for the sake of setting them apart differentiating them and just kind of absorbing which one's which and all that so here goes G pentatonic Thank you. 